Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing a look for you that's very glamorous. It certainly has many elements of previous decades. It definitely has a 90s colouring. I'm not going to be doing this look myself however, I have the gorgeous Megan back. Some of you will recognise her from a previous beauty film. This look really does show the transformative power of makeup. And just before I begin, I'd be very interested to hear your feedback in regards to what sort of beauty films, tutorials, how-to videos. I'd be very interested to hear what sort of things you have to say and what kind of things you would like to see. And I hope you enjoy the look. With the base already applied, I'm applying Max Gorgeous Gold on a MAC 239 brush and packing that colour onto the centre of the lid. Then taking up 217 and buff and blend the edges. Then using the same brush, applying Max Pink Freeze directly down the centre of the lid, almost creating a stripe and blending the edges with the same 217. Gradually applying it up to the eyebrow. Then using a clean Mac 217, apply Urban Decay's Naked from the Naked palette through the socket. Bring depth and shape to the eye and buff the colour in gently to ensure no harsh lines. Sweep it slightly over the lid and up towards the brow. This will create a softer gradient. Take a clean MAC 217 just to ensure an even blend. Blending is key to this look, so don't be shy to blend. Then taking a very similar colour, this one is called Justify by Illamasqua, and I'm taking that through the socket of the eye. Then applying Illamasqua's Intrigue, to the brow bone on a MAC 217, applying it heavily to the underneath of the brow and buffing it slightly towards the socket. Apply a small amount of the intrigue on the same brush to the inner corner, then taking a far larger, fluffier blending brush and blend those edges together, making sure everything is evenly blended. Then taking more of the Justify colour on the same MAC 217, intensify the socket, building up your shape as you go along. And again, take your blending brush in to ensure no harsh lines. Really buff the colours together. It is important to ensure an even blend. Then taking Brune by MAC on a Space NK liner brush, with the eyes open to begin with, then closed. Plot where you want your black flick to graduate from. Then apply in a pointed flick in the inner corner. This will act as a map when we are drawing in our feline flick with far more intense black liner. It poses as a guide just to ensure that you don't make any mistakes, as black liner can be slightly difficult to remove. and thicken the lines up gradually. Then take a pencil smouldering brush and blend out our guideline. And with the same angled brush, I applied Max Gel Liner in the shade Black Track to the inner waterline. I prefer to use an angled brush with a gel liner when drawing any form of eyeliner. You may use a brush of your choice or whatever is easiest for you. Just make sure that you are getting a very sharp line. Making sure that we get a lot of the product into the lash line. Gradually start to wing out what you've done. Drawing over our guideline. I would not recommend trying to be too perfect as you will most likely make a mistake, but be aware of what you are doing when drawing a very graphic black line. Apply it slightly further down the eye. Make sure that your lower lash liner connects with the top line you have done. Then apply Max Black Eyeshadow in the shade Carbon on the same pencil smudger brush that we used before to the lower lash line, quite liberally allowing it to come quite far down. This will create a very smoky effect. With the same 217 that we used with the Justify colour, blend out the black. This will soften it and give it a more browny tinge. Feel free to go back in with your brush and your liner to ensure that the colours merge together. Then applying Max Matte Bronze 
to a 217 and applying that to the lower lash line. Use a smudger brush to gain a more precise application and blend the edges with a 217. Using the same 217, I'm taking the remainder of the colour through the socket and using our previous fluffy brush, making sure that there are no harsh edges. Then apply on a clean MAC 217, intrigue to the inner corner and slightly along to the centre of the eye on the lower lash line. This matte white will create a very strong highlight, however it will not look too much as it's not iridescent. Matte highlights are a slightly softer option. And just take your pencil brush again just to make sure that all edges transition together. Apply a max zoom lash to the lashes and to the lower lashes of course. I'm filling in the eyebrows with Max Brune eyeshadow. Using a C409 angle definer liner brush. Not being too neat as Megan has relatively full eyebrows anyway. Taking a spoolie, this can really merge the eyeshadow and the hairs together. And building up colour intensity. Then I'm taking a very tapered Charles Fox brush, applying a contour shade from a sleek palette. It is a very warm brown, far warmer than I usually use. However, I felt it complemented this look adequately. If you feel as if so you have taken your contour too far down, apply a small amount of white underneath the cheekbone. This will not actually emphasise the cheekbone itself. If blended correctly, it will cancel out any mistakes that you have made with your contour or raise the contour up slightly if you feel as if though you have taken it down too far. Using a clean powder brush just to blend everything through. Then applying on a clean blending brush, highlighter from the same sleek palette, quite high onto the cheekbone. Using the same contour brush and start to buff onto the apple of the cheek. Then taking Max Blusher in the shade Blush Baby and applying that to the apple of the cheek. I applied a small amount of contour to the forehead, not that Megan's forehead really needs it. And apply a small amount of that contour shade on a MAC 217 to the tip of the nose. Then dust off with a clean powder brush. Using some makeup remover, remove any product that's on the lip with a Q-tip or cotton bud, however you prefer to title it. Then apply Max Lip Liner in the shade Subculture. I'm overdrawing the lip line ever so slightly, but not too much as Megan has very full lips as it is. Pushing against the lip will raise the lips slightly and allow you to gain a far more precise application. Then I'm applying Sleek's lipstick in the shade Naked all over the lips. This shade is very much a caramel brown, a little bit too much. To balance it out, I applied another sleek lipstick in the shade Liqueur, which remains a nude, slightly less caramel, but slightly more pinkier than Naked. And liberally applying a touch of shimmer to the cheekbones, chin, and a very small amount to the lids. That more or less completes the look. I added some individual eyelashes, these ones are by Ailua to enhance the feline effect. Certainly a very striking and strong look, but remains very feminine and beautiful. I completed this look by adding a bright orange, auburny brown wig. It's definitely a very beautiful look that suits almost everyone. It's one of my personal favourite looks to wear on myself, and I definitely think Megan carries it very well. I hope you have found this either interesting or helpful and once again thank you so much for watching and of course take care of yourself. Bye!